Hi guys, it's me, Geraldine. Well, guess what came in today? Well, I was playing Chex Quest. My Japan crate! I'm really excited, so I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it. Um, the only thing that sucks about Japan crate is you cannot buy just one. You have to go buy a monthly subscription, and I forgot to not renew mine. So, I have another one coming next month as well. But, this is my first one. So here it is. It's all packaged nice and neat and really cute. So what's in here? So they come with a little comic book. I'm not, it's like a little, or is it? Japan Crate Manga Zine is what they call it. So announcement, yeah, and it reads just like a manga. It's basically a catalog with all their stuff in it. Um, what have we got in here? We have... I got the premium one because I was kind of interested to see what they had um, as far as not just candy but drinks as well. They have a different variety. They have one for like makeup and other stuff like toys and things like that. So if you want to check out their website, japancrate.com, um, feel free to do so. They're not paying me to do this. I'm just doing this for the hell of it because I was really excited to get my Japan Crate. I'm not super excited about the fact that I got charged for two and just now got my one, but just be patient. They're actually shipping them from Japan now instead of the U.S. so they can get more authentic stuff in their crates. So, which is, I'm, I'm for it. Just, it's going to take longer to get my stuff, which I worry about. And that's something, if you're a new subscriber, you do need to worry about because are you going to like your crate before you end up signing up, you know, keeping for, you know, your, your subscription. So, just go for a month by month until you decide that you like it is probably my suggestion to do it. Bodyguard Plus. What is that? It's all in Japanese, so I can't read it, but it looks basically like water. Oh, it's yellow. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm going to say. It kind of looks like this. <laughs> I'm going to just open it up and take a little sip. Ooh, is it carbonated? It smells pretty fruity. It doesn't taste like much. Um, it's kind of got like a citrusy sort of taste to it, which is not bad. It's not like bad at all. It's just, it's not a taste you're used to. It is carbonated a little bit. Um, B1, B2, B6, B12. So it's kind of like a vitamin B sort of uh, drink to kind of get your metabolism, you know, going again. I have been slacking on my B vitamins a little bit, so that's fun. Oh man, we got all sorts of things. This is not your average Japan sort of stuff that you find in the grocery store, by the way. This is not your Pocky and things like that. It's not anything like that, so don't think that it is. Um, what is this? It looks like some sort of strawberries and cream thing. We'll see how it tastes. I don't want to like open everything up and eat it all at one time because it's candy. So I'm kind of like, <laughs> um, okay, so we got some little chocolate chip cookies. That's great. Something that's recognizable at least. Um, fruits donuts. So these are like our peach rings in the U.S. The thing I love about Japan is like they package their stuff so cute. Like I'm not somebody who's super girly, but I really enjoy just the way that they package stuff because it's super duper adorable. Um, what else we got? We got a lot of small things. Um, my bowl. I'm not sure what this is. Um, my bowl. I've got no idea, frankly. It feels kind of firm. It kind of feels like a chocolate bar. So I'm gonna like just leave it at that. That's probably a chocolate bar. Okay, grape chewing candy. This one has a English subtitle on it. Grape chewing candy. It's kind of like a little taffy thing. Yeah, it feels like taffy. What else have we got? Oh, we got a little chocolate pie. So, you know, like those little chocolate pie things that you get in the packages in the grocery store? That's what these are. Sweet. This is going to be gummy candy, which I am always in love with gummy candy. That makes me really super happy. Um, chocolate. 
yeah, so this is, looks like little cola candies. Chocolate cola. So like chocolate cola, I'm assuming. I am going to try at least one or two of these things. Maybe one of the ones that's a little bit more foreign to me, so that way you kind of get an experience of what things are, as far as that goes. Um, okay. What is this? Mentai. Huh. This looks more like chips to me, like, um, like a... They come, they come, it's like a solid package. It's not like they're in like a loose bag. Alright, I'm going to move this along very quickly. Um, okay. We got ABC message cookies, so like animal cookies, but they're in little letters. What's this? Huh, you like mix your own little drink in this. Or something. It like looks like cotton candy or something like that. Huh, that's weird. I'll make a second episode probably with some of this stuff. So that way y'all can see how it works. Um, looks like a little ice cream pop. I, I'm not having the best lighting today, sorry. Um, this is some bubble gum, I'm fairly certain. Why is there a little puppy on it? Is this supposed to be for dogs? I have no idea. I wish I could like just automatically translate this stuff. If y'all didn't know this, y'all probably don't know this, but okay, this is gonna be super sour lemon candy, obviously. Um, if y'all didn't know this about me, um, I used to play Nancy Drew games, and I still play them sometimes when I have the, the free time. But um, and one of them was um. The one I just finished, actually, was a one about Japan in a Ryukan that was haunted, or quote, haunted. Um, and literally, you would take this dictionary and you would stick it on this picture of this Japanese stuff and it would automatically translate it. Like, why can't I do that? Um, and then we have a box of cookies. It looks like um, green tea cookies, yeah. I've seen recipes for this, actually, online. Um, or actually like a green tea roll. It was really interesting. Alrighty, well, since I've shown you everything that is in the Japan crate, I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of these things, at least. It's close to dinner time, so I don't wanna like ruin my appetite. But um, I'm gonna try this great chewing candy. Now, I'm gonna do something that's not so. I don't wanna do like the stuff that doesn't, that's, yeah. I have literally zero idea what this is, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. <laughs> oh yeah, it is a chocolate bar. I was right. Oh, it's very light, and it must be like a Twix bar or something. Let me try it. Mmm. Mmm. Uh. I'll tell you what I just first tasted. This tasted like a chocolate-covered Cheeto, and it has about the texture of one. So here you see it from the side and from the front. It's kind of like a Cheeto, almost. It has that same exact texture, and I just, like, tasted Cheeto in my mouth. It's not super tasty, but, um, it's interesting. <laughs> It's an interesting texture, to say the least. The chocolate's good, but... Yeah, as long as you can get past biting into that stuff, you're good. Mmm. Okay. Well, now I know for next time that these suck and never to pick them up if I'm ever in Japan. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. I'm going to keep this packaging... I'll probably be keeping all the empty packaging just so I know, you know, to research things if I want to buy them. Um, I can just go ahead and buy them on their own instead of waiting for Japan Crate to send me stuff to try. <laughs> Which is not necessarily a bad thing. I would probably... I might, I might keep Japan Crate around just because I enjoy trying new things and Japan, you know, Japanese stuff is really cool to me. So, anyway... So that is my Japan Crate unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, 
yeah, I'll let you know how the rest of this stuff tastes. Um, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, alright guys, I'll see you next time. Until then, this is me, Darlene. Over and out.